Well, Brian, earlier this morning, a customer of mine came in. Uh, they're regular customers and ardent collectors of Civil War artifacts and historical artifacts. When she came in, she notified me that she was afraid that she may have inadvertently purchased a live Civil War cannonball. At that time, I asked her to show me where it was. She took me out to her car, opened the trunk, pointed out the box it was in. It's in a box that is you know, about 12 by 12 and is covered in clothing items to cushion the cannonball. I pulled the top layers of clothing away and as I did, I was able to see the fuse plug. Uh, upon seeing this, I got her and myself away from the vehicle and called the police. The police responded. They in turn called the sheriff's department. Uh, Fire Chief Davis inspected the cannonball, saw the same fuse plug I did, and made the decision to call EOD out of Little Rock. Uh, at this point, we are waiting for EOD to arrive. Uh, police and fire departments have evacuated the surrounding businesses. My own, the old country store, uh, personalized fitness next door, uh, have been evacuated, and we're waiting on EOD to arrive to take care of the situation. That's all I know right now. Got it. Uh, 20 the hospital's 911 center received a report of a uh, cannonball. Uh, in the back of a car at 454 Broadway, Hot Springs Police, Hot Springs Fire, responded to the incident and determined that uh, there actually was a, uh, a metal sphere, uh, Civil War era type device that was in the back of the vehicle. Uh, so uh, we called the bomb squad out of Little Rock, uh, made our notifications, Department of Emergency Management, and we have technicians on the way to render the device harmless. Charles. At approximately 10 10 this morning, the Hot Springs Police Department responded to a report of a possible cannonball in the trunk of a car at Grand Gallery Auctions. Officers responded, determined it was a possible live cannonball, 
At that point, we cordoned off the area, evacuated the, all the buildings and subjects, and called in the state police bomb squad, who just responded, took possession of the device, and are going to take it out to the landfill to have it disposed.